It was more of a shock coming from co-ed schools, public schools. Uh, when I was going around, the boys were very well-mannered. I wasn't really, never really experienced it like that. Uh, the teachers were strict, but that's a good strict. It's a bit cliche, but I, like, everyone always goes on about the brotherhood and they're not wrong when they go on about that. So no matter what it's in, you got your family, your friends, the students, all coming out just to watch that team play or support that person in their, in their triumphs or their, whatever they're trying to set out to do. Believe it or not, I wasn't the most outgoing kid when I first came here. I didn't have any friends. I didn't know anyone. I just moved here from Sydney. Uh, and a kid came over to me um, while I was reading a book and he said, oh, you like that book too? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and I'm still friends with him today. So I think he's a constant reminder of like my first experience of Eddie's just that willingness to make new friends and you know share a brotherhood. It's important to me. I would say the community is the best thing about Eddie's. We all come together to the same place to study and as Mrs Avoni says, we're all brothers in these walls. So I guess we all come together. Hey, I'm Baden Godfrey, college captain for 2021 at St Edmunds College. G'day, my name's Eden Mordock. I'm the faith and mission captain for this year's 2021 St Edmunds College Canberra. Hey, I'm Jack Hodges and I'm the 2021 academic captain for St Edmunds College. Hi, my name's Max Page and I'm the service captain for St Edmunds College in 2021. I started St Edmunds College in 2013 in year four. I was in four gold with Mr Bond. Would have been around 2014, 2015. I came in term four of grade five. I started in 2013 in year four. Uh, in year four in 2013. Yeah, Mr Bond's, Mr Bond's year four gold, I think, yeah. So I'm doing English, maths, bio, drama at the moment, and uh, I'm just doing general math. Uh, I'm doing religion, English, specialist methods for maths, uh, physics, and exercise science. I'm doing a double major in IT, specialist methods, chemistry and English. Uh, so I'm majoring in law, psychology, English and religion. And then my minors are maths and TSP. Yeah. Uh, Favourite subject would probably have to be exercise science. And why is that? Uh, it relates to sport and I love my sport. I would say IT is my favourite because it's really hands on. Oh, definitely legal studies. For, uh, I like the content and also Miss Walker is the best teacher on the planet. So. Oh, probably English. You still have that creative freedom when you get those pieces that you need to do. And there's obviously, it's a mix. So you've got your creative freedoms and you've got your strict essays that you've got to do. All this stuff you'll use in real life. That's why I like it. Uh, I play rugby for the college and I have since year four. I did do dragon boating last year in 2020. However, this year, because I'm doing outside sport for Rowan, uh, I don't have that time really. So it's more of a balance between outside life, inside life, but Eddie's gives you that, so. Uh, so I played cricket the entire time I was at Eddie's and now in my final two years, I'm just picking rugby up again. I'm in the senior band. I think the community creating bands really good because you have people with like-minded interests and we all come together to create something nice. Uh, well, I'd have to say the favorite thing about the school is probably the brotherhood. Like everyone gets around each other, we're all good mates. And like, I particularly see that when I play footy. You know, when you're out there with the 14 other blokes on the field, like that mateship really comes through and you really get a sense of that brotherhood here. I would say the community is the best thing about Eddie's. We all come together to the same place to study and as Mrs Avoni says, we're all brothers in these walls. So I guess we all come together. It's a little cliche, but definitely seeing my mates. Um, I just think the effect that your mates can have on your day is, is incredible. You're sort of there going, I do want to learn, I do want to participate in events, I do want to do this, I do want to do this, because you're never going to get these opportunities again outside school. And even if you do, it's very minor or that minority is pushed to the side most of the time. So it's sort of, the teachers give you the opportunity to learn and it's a good environment. Uh, I don't actually know quite yet, uh, I'll probably go to uni and look at something sport based, you know, uh, maybe physio or something like that. I want to go to university, hopefully something about science or medicine. I would say that my classes here and the teachers really helped me gain an understanding and an interest in that category. So I guess chemistry would be really helpful in the medicine and science area. Mr Metcalf and Miss Wilson helping me with those ones. So I'm going through doing ADVA, so I'll study a course like a uni, um, but it's very 
It's more just to push you into the military, give you that degree, and then you can go off and I'll be doing an officer role. So I'll be a general infantry officer by the time I've reached the end of my university studies. Uh, so I'd like to go to uni as soon as I can, and um, if all else fails, I'd like to be a bartender. Oh, right now, it's not too much fun, it's just work really. Um, but if you're talking for fun, uh, I don't know, I guess hanging out with mates, but gym, actually, nah, gym. I do a lot of gym. Uh, that's all I can really do at the moment with work and um, sorting out outside stuff for jobs, so. Ah, uh, for fun outside of school. Oh, I'll do a lot of training outside of school, but uh, I enjoy going to the gym or just kicking the footy. You know, playing a few games on the Xbox or PlayStation, you know. So just relax. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I didn't want to know. <laughs> I don't know what I do for fun. I guess for fun I mainly play video games and watch TV. What do I do? Most of the time I'm at school, really. And if I'm not, I'm probably just... <sighs> if I'm not at school, I'm probably just listening to music or maybe trying to read a book. It doesn't go that well most of the time, but... Um... <laughs> Favourite teachers? Can't go wrong with uh, Foxy and Giddo, you know? Well, pretty much like the whole PE department's pretty good, like, but yeah, Foxy's real... Real involved with the footy, like love him. Uh, Gitto, like, he's also pretty good, you know. Sometimes I oh, sometimes give him a bit of a hard time, but nah, he's a great bloke. You know, all, all the teachers here are good, just some, some you get to know more than the others, but like, you, most of them you can pretty much just have a good chat with, a bit of a joke, but yeah. I, I reckon T Mac is probably my number one choice, just because that house sort of vibe that he gives and that leadership. Um, close camaraderie, brothership sort of thing. But that's, yeah, T-Mac for sure. I would say Miss Ma's my favourite teacher. She's really easy to talk to and gives me lots of help with IT tasks. Yeah, so in the middle school it was definitely Miss Doyle. We didn't see her that much, but when she did it, it was pretty big. Um, Miss Gare, definitely, Miss Walker, Mr Burke. Um, it's definitely some that I'm missing that are going to get offended that I didn't say them. But uh, there's, there's a lot out there. There's a lot. Favourite thing at the canteen? Have a bit of chicken, chicken burgers, yeah. Oh, chicken burger, 100%. Just can't go wrong. I usually go for the chalky milk, I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I usually get two. I would say the cruiser pies. Uh, my most proud accomplishment is probably playing first 15, which I played last year with my brother. That's probably the thing I'm most proud of. And I guess also like my Ducks Awards, which were like the good like, recognition of the hard work that I sometimes put, like that you put in during the year. In year six, I got the Fred Hollows Award. <laughs> and I guess I also got the Dr. Paul Kildare Award for band in year seven. Getting this position is probably the biggest one so far. Now, this is my biggest achievement, getting this role. Uh, yeah, so in year four, I won the spelling bee, but uh, not much else since then, really. I guess as college cap, as I guess not just as a captain, but as college captain or vice versa, like, I guess you're a bridge between the teachers and the students where teachers have their goals and as a, as a student you've gained perspective and you've still got a strong connection with the boys here so I guess you can you use your position to, uh, to I guess advocate for both of those groups and try to improve the school as best we can particularly coming out of last year where a lot of things we were unable to do because of COVID or whatever like not, not to bring that up again but like it'd be good just to get back out there in the community like and just be a part of like that school's presence. As the academic captain, I feel like my role is primarily around helping people understand school, but I feel like it goes deeper than that in trying to bring the community together and being a bridge between teachers and students. So for my role, I'll be up in front of assembly. I'll do a lot of the press after Mr. Monagle. Um, we'll go off, write a few speeches. I'll be going off to other schools, doing a couple of masses with them, especially this year, it's gonna be busy. Um, with COVID last year. So service, and um, what I like about Eddie's is that service, it doesn't have one form. So whether that be coaching a junior rugby team or staying behind for after school tutoring, um, even just putting $10 into the walkathon, I think service takes many forms at Eddie's, so I just try and contribute to that. Um, actually, it's been smooth transitions, I think is the biggest part about being a defence kid. Because a lot of defence kids that go to other schools, they get lost in it because they're moving around so much. So they're bouncing up and down the coast. If they're going up North Queensland, if they're going south, they're having to meet new kids and that can be tough. 
But for Eddie's, I think it's a very smooth transition. Perfect defense coordinator that we got here now. Um, and you get to come back, even if you leave and you come back, you get that environment, like I was saying before. You get that environment of boys that remember you, that still know you. There's always going to be that mateship behind it. And it's just a smooth transition for the defense boys. I think a big part of it, and since we're a War Memorial School, like we have that link, we know what we're doing with it. So the school knows what it can be like. So it's easy, yeah. Uh, quite lucky actually. Um, I was fortunate to have moved to Canberra in year four because of defence and uh, I haven't moved since. It's been quite fortunate. I know a lot of boys who come to Eddie's don't start in year four or seven and a lot of that's because of their defence posting. So I think I'm quite fortunate to have come at such an early age and to be, have been able to stay. Oh, it's great. Um, I always have someone to talk to if I need. Um, and it's, a lot of it has been about giving back as well because we as defence students understand what it's like. So been down to sell legacy badges around Monica a few years in a row. I think that's really good. Oh, I guess you just got to really, you really got to think about what you want and then prioritise and not necessarily doing one thing over another, but I guess that's just fitting, fitting things into your own schedule. So whether or not that's dedicating one afternoon to this or splitting an afternoon and a half just so you can get a good mix of what you want to do. Time management is the biggest area for that. It's really important to make sure you allocate specific areas to specific subjects. You don't want to allocate too much to one and then fail in the other one. So making sure you have a good balance is really key to that. The, I guess defining an Eddie's boy can be a bit hard. Like there's a lot of different aspects to the school. So there's a lot of different aspects to the students. But I guess it's more the, the mentality of the boys, I think. Like the ability of the boys to try all that, like try as many aspects of the school or like get out there as much as they can. Like try their hand in everything, whether that's academic, sporting or co-curricular, like and if it's team based, individual, like just the just the work ethic and like the the mateship that these boys have for each other. I think like that is what exhibits what an Eddie's boy is. Obviously not being here the entire time is sort of a disadvantage to get to know the boys, but I would like to leave a legacy behind of being a role model, showing that you can sort of get your stuff together, get it, get it down, get the work done, and um, still get amongst it and know everybody. Um, but as a legacy, I guess, yeah, it's sort of that male role model that most boys deserve, that they see in their fathers, that they see in someone that plays sport, something like that sort of style where they can look at that and go maybe if I do that I can sort of guide my own way just to show the boys their own path because they shouldn't have to follow in the footsteps of someone but they should have that path trek so they're able to gauge that understanding of where they can go and sort of explain, explore their own way.